everyone, it's Rebecca with Team Ladybug and I'm here for the August Beetle Box. The first thing we have is Princess Paisley Nail Transfer Foil. This thing is Tutti Fruity Candy Chrome. It's really beautiful. It's got a purple and teal and green shift to it. It's just amazing. You're going to love it. Next from the Beetle Box is Bubblegum Glaze. This is a pink gel. And the other one is Blue Coconut Glaze, and that is also a gel. They're really pretty. Okay, so the rest of the things we're going to use for these nails, we have got, there's Plum Thing About You, Fresh Canvas, Made You Look, Cajun Crawfish, and Gaudy Back to Black. Then also you're going to need foil gel, blooming gel, velvet touch matte top gel, and the ladybug luster wet look top coat, and red carpet metallic glaze, gaudy nails LED glue, outshine, some mermaid moon tears, and you can use whatever uh, caviar beads of your choice, also a baby fan brush, a 15 millimeter brush, a nine millimeter brush, some sort of squeegee tool, a crystal picker, and then these are the nails that we're going to be making. I just wanna add in here that this blue coconut glaze and the bubblegum glaze are great to go over different colors. Uh, they're really sheer and you can either layer them together to make more of a solid color on their own, or you can put them over matching colors. White is in the center of these two, and then I have like a dark blue and a pink on the outside. Okay, so we have got, there's Plum Thing About You on one nail and Fresh Canvas on the other four nails. I've already pre-prepped these. Okay, for the first nail, we're taking the There's Plum Thing About You 84G Gotti, and we're gonna coat that with the Bubblegum Glaze. You're going to put a coat on, make sure the polka dots are where you want them. You can move them around. And once that's cured, cover this with outshine and cure that only for the amount of time you need to do chrome. So then we're gonna take our Tutti Fruity Candy Chrome. We'll take the Baby Fan Brush and spread this out on the nail so that it covers basically the whole nail. You do not have to do the whole nail. You could do part of the nail, do an ombre. I want the whole nail covered because there is a purple shift in here. So it looks really, really pretty over the top of this um, with what we've got. And then you can go ahead and either leave it the way it is, or you can take your smudge smearing uh, tool and you can burnish this in to make a chrome, like a nice chrome where you don't see all the flakes. Then go ahead and top again with the outshine so that it covers that. Uh, you can also use the metallic glaze if you need to over the top if you're not doing this on a demo nail. So then the next nail, we're going to take Cajun Crawfish and we are gonna cut, put that on the palette. And then we'll take Blue Coconut Glaze We'll put some of that on our palette. We'll take bubblegum glaze and we'll put that on the palette. Then saturate your brush, making sure that it's really good and coated with the Cajun crawfish. Start at the bottom of your nail along the edge and do just a swoop up coming to a point. Then we're gonna make a small parenthesis on one side and another parenthesis on the other to form basically an arrow. And then you're gonna take little shoots off of the arrow and do a couple more. One short there, this one I want longer. And I'm gonna go ahead and make that a little bit longer, the longest parenthesis ever. And then go ahead and continue around the nail doing some longer and some shorter um, so that you have what looks like a feather. That's basically our end goal is a f the tip of a feather coming off of our nail, 
adjust as needed if you don't like the length. I want them to be separated a little bit because uh, that gives a little bit more definition. It doesn't have to be every single line. You'll get the idea of what it is once we're completed with this. But nice um, feather details, you know, where they have breaks in them. If you've ever seen an actual feather up close. And let's get a big thick one at the bottom. Okay, then take the nine millimeter brush after you've cured that and go ahead and put the bubblegum glaze on here, which is a really pretty soft pink. And again, you can tell these are pretty sheer, so they're good for mixing and layering and what have you. I just love this. It's so thin and smooth and easy to work with. So it's great for blending. I would imagine doing a gradient with this would be fairly simple as well. Um, but go ahead and put the bubblegum glaze in between each one, leaving space for some of the blue coconut glaze, which we'll add next, and adjust the polka dots. Get more polka dots on there if you can, because that's the fun part of this glaze, is there's little polka dots in there, some of them are matte and I'm pretty sure some of them are shiny because they look shiny but I haven't picked all of them out individually and looked at them in detail. Anyway go ahead and place your polka dots where you want. Try uh, to get all the different colors in there. It'll add a little bit more fun to these carnival nails. And then go ahead and take your blue coconut glaze and place that where the white spots are where you did not place the bubblegum glaze. And I'm also going to be picking out the polka dots and adding those along the way. Right now I'm just filling in to try to get it where it is, but the polka dots need to be there. So once you're getting closer and you've got all the spots filled in with the blue, you can add more polka dots as needed and make sure you're filling in all the blanks. Okay, now once you get all of that done, go ahead and blend. You're not blending like so that it's completely mixed, but you want to have a little bit of a blur of a soft lavender color in there these blend together so well that it makes a nice um, like tri-colored feather basically on here. I'm just going to spread the polka dots so they don't get all clumped up. Go ahead and blend a little bit. Spread the polka dots as I'm blending and not going to cross over those two. But you still want to see some of the pink and some of the blue so make sure you have that and then I'm not blending between the lines. I'm blending only in the feather bits themselves. Any excess polish you can take off with the glove. Okay, and then cover with matte top coat and cure and you're done with that nail. Okay, so for the next nail you'll need blooming gel, bubblegum glaze, blue coconut glaze, a nine millimeter brush and a 15 millimeter brush. And you're going to want to coat the nail in the blooming gel and let that sit for a minute. Then go ahead and get your bubblegum glaze and put that out on the palette. And then get the blue coconut glaze and put that out on the palette. Take your 15 millimeter brush and you're just going to make a semi-circle on the nail. Uh, covering up half of it um, with the polka dots and... Don't worry about spreading those out at this point. Just get the glaze on. Then you're going to skip a little bit of space and do the blue coconut glaze. Do that in a half circle as well and just try to get a good amount on the nail. Then this is where you take the 9 millimeter brush and you can pick out your polka dots from either color and add them uh, on here. Just make sure you're happy with how you've got your polka dots. Okay, polka dots, not polka nuts. 
coconuts and polka dots don't mix. Anyway, take off any excess gel with your gloves. Once you've got that done, cure, and then you're gonna wanna come in with the Velvet Touch Matte Top Gel. You may have to level it out with rubber base, clear rubber base if you need to, but mine is thin enough and I don't have any bumps, so I'm just coating with the matte top coat. Then get some gaudy glue on your palette and go in between the blue coconut glaze and the bubblegum glaze. Make sure that you've got a pretty good line going between the two of those. Here we're gonna add the Mermaid Moon Tears and a coordinating crystal. So Moon Tear, then Crystal, and then Moon Tear, and then Crystal. So keep going back and forth between those all the way around. You can have the same color Moon Tears, the same color crystals, coordinating, uh, mismatched, whatever you want to do. I tried to make them go with the polka dots and basically fill in to look like a Ferris wheel going around for these carnival nails. So once you've got that all straightened out, you can go ahead and grab some caviar beads. You can use gold or silver, whatever you like. I don't have very many small gold ones, so I'm gonna be using the silver and just put those on all around in the spaces where you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this and come back. All right, now that I've got all the caviar beads in place, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the Velvet Touch Matte Top Coat and fill in uh, to recoat because I got some of the glue showing and I want this nail to be matte and not shiny at all. So you can go ahead and do that and you could leave it um, matte or you could make it shiny. It just depends on your preference. Once you've got your top coat on, go ahead and cure and that nail's done. Okay, the next nail we need white and so I'm gonna get some matte top coat, put that on my palette, and then I'm also going to grab black, just the smallest dot of black because you're gonna mix this in to make a base. So I'm gonna make a top line here, sort of a parenthesis, and then turn the nail upside down and make um, sort of eyebrows or a mustache, whatever you wanna see there. Um, it looks like a mustache one way and eyebrows on the other way. Then we're gonna take and do the bottom here to do the opposite uh, parenthesis on the one side and another parenthesis on this side. And this is gonna form our mask. Okay, so then you're going to need to add eye holes for the mask. So do a little rounded triangle or a little teepee there on one side, flip the nail over, and do the same on the other side. Depending on how small or big you want the eye holes, uh, we're not really gonna see the black. It's more to give us a guide for when we add the next colors. Okay, so I got 116G Gotti Made You Look. I've got the bubblegum glaze that I'm gonna put on the palette and make sure you get a fair amount of polka dots here. The next color that we're gonna use is There's Plum Thing About You, 84G. Get some of that. And then also Cajun Crawfish, 117G. You'll need your nine millimeter brush and you're gonna go ahead and get the Made You Look Pink or any pink that you have similar and color in the lines. You're just gonna color in to fill in the mask so we have a background for the bubblegum glaze to go over. You don't need to see me do this whole thing, so I'll finish and then I'll come back uh, to show you the final. Okay, so now that I've got that all colored in, I'm gonna cure it, and then I'm gonna come back with the bubblegum glaze. Just color over all of the pink that you did it will soften up the edges of the mask uh, so you won't see that dark gray color, but that does also add definition. And you just wanna spread it out so it's giving, um, well, a glazed look and adding the little polka dots in there wherever you like and just 
move them around, get as many in as you can because this is going to add a little bit of whimsy to your mask. I really like these glaze polishes. They're very light and sheer and the fact that you can blend them together to make like lavender or um, whatever you want to do with them, layer them over other colors or even just, uh, you know, keep them on their own. They're just very soft and easy to work with. I do recommend, you know, using a smaller brush to get the detailed polka dots because I tried it with the bigger brush and it really just did not work. But anyway, I'm a big fan of this and I hope that you enjoy this polish as much as I do. And placing these little polka dots is not really for everyone, so you don't have to do that. You could just coat a nail with it and make it work however you want it to work for you. But you get the idea, so just finish and cure. Then get your 15 millimeter brush. You're going to fill your brush up with the Cajun crawfish, and we're going to make a feather on the top of this mask. So just do again, parentheses or a swirl or swoosh, you know, however you want your feather to be. I'm just going ahead and making little swirls with limited amount of gel on the brush. You don't want to overload or you're going to have really fat, thick feather lines and you want this to be airy. It's still going to be thicker in the center, but we're going to overcome that by adding another color. So then you're going to take there's plum thing about you after you've cured that and go ahead and add the plum thing about you into the red. As you can see here, I did not cure them and I really wish that I had cured it. I mean, it's making a stripe, but at the same time, it would have been better um, to not have them smear together. I guess it just depends on how you want to do it. If you want your colors to blend, maybe it gives it a little bit more movement, not curing it. But I am going to finish up adding um, the lines around the mask. So here you can go thinner or thicker, but you're basically outlining right where the gray uh, was and completing the look to make the mask have a finished appearance as opposed to being um, unfinished. And you can either outline inside the eyes if you want, or you can leave them with the gray shadow. I personally wanted them outlined. And then go ahead and finish up and do all of the sides of the mask just to give it a little bit more definition and um, make it pop. If you decide to do these nails, we'd really love to see them and see what you come up with. Maybe you do it a little bit different, but definitely would love to see your take on this. If you do do it, just tag us in the post and or even send them to us. So I think that it needs a little bit more red because I did not cure in between and my purple and my red bled together. So I'm just going to add another layer of the red here to make it um, stick out a little bit more since we outlined the mask in purple. I want the red to actually show up. So if you cured and didn't have to do this, then you're a step ahead of me. Grab some of your gaudy professional LED super glue and put that on your palette. Grab a little bit and put it at the base of where the feather is. We're going to add a little bit of bling to this mask. So I'm using the Mermaid Moon Tears. Again, you could use a crystal or the Moon Tears. Just make sure it's in below where the feather is. And then I'm also going to add a little bit more glue and add some caviar beads. You could do these in gold or silver. I did both uh, for the two different ones I did. And you can put them either on the top or the bottom or both sides, whatever you'd like, whatever you think looks good. Uh, just make sure you have a little bit of extra caviar beads because it's going to look um, a little sparse if you just have a crystal there with nothing else. Then you're going to top with a matte top coat. 
this will make it cohesively go with the other nails you've got so when you're done with that cure and the last nail is white we are taking foil gel and we're going to cure it for the two minutes uh, so the foil adheres okay you've got your foil you decide where to place it put it down and stretch it and pull it and put it down and then you're going to rub it in you can cut um, little darts in it but I didn't do that this time but I do recommend that you do that if you have a longer nail for a normal nail you would not really need to cut darts in it unless it's a very high arch um, but for the most part using this technique that Tracy does you can get it to basically pull off in one piece and you don't have any you know bits anywhere lucky for me I only had like one and I should have put a dart in there like I said you just put a little slit in um, where the foil is and it will overlap and smoothly go on and you wouldn't need to do that since we used foil over the whole nail we're going to use the red carpet metallic glaze shiny surface sealant to cover it up and then cure that so it does not lift and then after that go ahead and top coat with ladybug luster wet look top gel and I'm just going to make sure that it's level so I'm going to turn it upside down but that's the last nail in the set so I really hope that you enjoyed this and here's the final product I had a lot of fun making these as always message us if you have any questions or concerns about anything or if there's something you want to see